Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So, today I, well, woke up. Obviously it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I happened to check the sails. If you can't see, there is a nice combine in there. And I keep saying, we're looking for a new combine. So obviously, I'm looking to buy the combine. Uh, there is a Massey Ferguson head. We'll see if we get that one. I would almost want to stick with the brand because it uh, or case brand because it would look better. Be red, although there isn't much logos on the Massey Ferguson. I have loaded up every single mushroom that we got because we are going to sell all of the mushrooms that we got. Even though I said I was going to hold them for land, <laughs> that's not happening. Yeah, we got to take this down to the store. Go ahead and, well, sell it. Or sell them. We also had a, something about maple syrup. It's quite a bit higher right now. Yeah, right now it's 3000 Which, yeah, it's kind of a special price. It's a high demand right now. So, kind of would hope to sell those. Um, uh, oh, yep, yep. Yeah, we're gonna miss in the. We're gonna not bring this one thing of mushrooms. Hopefully, we're not short the two grand, but we'll just have to grab that later. That does not want to stay, and I did not neatly stack this. I kind of did it in a hurry, so I didn't want the combine to sell. There should be plenty here still. Plenty of weight too. You can. Tractor's working pretty hard to actually get this going. Normally we hit the, the max speed pretty quick. A lot quieter in here. Yeah, quite a bit there. Should be, I want to say it was like 60,000 or something like that. I'm probably completely wrong, but quite a bit. As I wasn't 100% sure how many we had on the trailer. They're basically all hanging off and being held on by the strap. But regardless, it should be enough to clear us for that combine. I thought the trailer was starting to tip. That would not be good. That would not be good. Oh. Gonna sell the rest too. Well, it's not selling all of them because some of them are cockeyed. It doesn't sell those for some reason. That's probably why you should sack them the correct way. Dang. Yeah, I had to check with all we got. That's no wonder I've been saving them for for land. Because I had enough to buy land with it. Well, I think we can buy this safely. <laughs> Unless we get the, the extension on it and basically never have to empty. Uh, what's the base engine horsepower? 285? Would 103 be really make the difference? Gotta ask yourself. and I don't really think so. How much is the long auger? Yeah, let's do long auger just in case that would help us. Because we this is a fairly large combine uh, I can add it later too let's do that with the XL extension that should basically mean we never have to empty so we easily buy the header for it so we could buy this one really the only logos are on the side 
And it is, well, massive. But I think I'm just going to go with the standard case one. Some more money. Probably the 28 foot. So I doubt. Yeah, that, that 70, that 41 foot would be nice, but we'll go with the 28 foot. Because there is no combinations for this harvester when I looked earlier. So we'll do that one. And just like that, we have no money. <laughs> so we'll have to go and pick the that up. We will at some point. Um, I'm going to bring the other combine down here also at some point. But first, I think we got to do planting in the field that we harvested last video. That obviously needs to be done now. And probably fertilize the backfield because the wheat is not ready yet. Yeah, it's not ready. Could be nice now with that new new combine though. So we should be able to fertilize that. That should be the last one. Where am I going? There we go. Yeah, it needs it basically in the center portion for fertilizing that. I already started and already made a large purchase. That was something that when I went to the, the new day, I was like, I, I always check the sales first thing. Usually that way I have an idea of, you know, if something comes up for sale and we really need it. Like, you know, when the tractors came up for this. Also, I, I'm pretty sure it is the front loader for this. Probably should have changed that when I was up there. We'll do that very shortly, or eventually. I'll have to go up to the to the store at some point. Oh, there's the mushrooms. Let's just grab that and put that back on the trailer, and we'll bring it back here. We'll bring this back around. We'll sell the maple syrup right away. Kind of time them time with it. As at the as, as, yep, still three thousand. We may not have that many, but we should sell them when we can for for a pretty good price. Yeah, I I chucked them on there. Yeah, was not probably a good idea because I literally could have just put them on here. But I'm sure I was probably thinking, oh, they might take away the high demand right away. Or if I'm short for the combine, which anybody in their right mind knew I was was not going to be. <laughs> which, with the mushrooms, I think once we get new, uh, new land, I might bump the difficulty up even higher. Just because they the mushrooms kind of make it a bit easy, as you can see, where... We can sell a bunch and get 90,000. I think once we get new land, we'll probably bump it up to the max difficulty. Our, our only ascension we can go up at this point. Yeah, another one on that side. For right now, because I raised it not lo that long ago, to normal, originally had a easy because they're like well you know you see the other ones on youtube and stuff obviously it's can be pretty challenging even on easy when you start with nothing and well i i didn't pay attention they weren't on no man's land because well you can get <laughs> greenhouses that make you millions literally and on hard i'm pretty sure the mushrooms will be like 1500 per thousand liters so in that case, we would have made like 30,000 or something. Why am I going this way? Taking the long way. Kind of sucks for basically the first part of this video just selling stuff. but Kind of just how it has to be. Oh, this went out of the trigger. I would like to, you know, take advantage of 
the high demands when they come up. Uh, there we go. Just throwing it around. Maybe I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure if that happens a lot with maple syrup. If it happens a lot where there's a good high demand, be nice. Because then I just hold on. Hold on. I'm doing as much as I can. Yeah, that was nice. So I think first things first. Well, not first thing at this point. I'm going to take the other combine. And just get basically the transfer of the combines. Then we'll just start this field. Put this here, over here. There we go. This is going to be pretty slow. Um, pretty sure max speed on this is, yeah, pretty, pretty slow. But it's going to be a massive upgrade. It's, I'm betting triple the size for, for the header. And plus we can actually change the header, which will be nice. Because technically it says we could harvest corn with this header. And, well, realistically, you wouldn't. So, kind of... I actually would be willing to harvest one of those and get the header now. I wouldn't have did it before, even though um, some of them could be worth a good amount. I think sunflowers are, are a pretty good crop, if I remember right. You know, I gotta say... Used to make this trip multiple times with the farm all at 16 miles an hour. And once you've did it, you know, a handful of times at 30, 12 feels snail speed. I was damn near snoozing off. Oh man, that is actually a pretty large header. That fo 40 foot would have looked huge. Let's take that off. We'll have to fix the combine up right away, too. Obviously, it's used. We got the biggest uh, bin on it. We'll probably, honestly, never have to unload on a lot of our fields right now. Obviously, I'm hoping to get some bigger fields and stuff. So. Although, I think wheat is usually a higher yield, but lower price, obviously. Eight dollars on repairs, sure. We made nine dollars extra because of eight. That, yeah, it's nine thousand. Pretty good price. We'll take this right away. I see, it's missing some paint. Quite a bit of paint <laughs> was used. So, cab looks good. Sounds pretty good. It's not that as the last one. Slide this in. I, oh, Bo's big the doors. The opening. I don't know. Let's turn that off. I don't know how we would have got that forty-foot header in here. We would have had to do that at home. thousand dollars on repair I'll take it paint for five thousand I think not yeah this is the four-wheel drive model too that'll probably be be nice for our hills. There's plenty of hills in our area. Is that missing paint on her header? Or is that just the railing? That's just the railing. Combine paint-wise, seen better days, but. 
It has like 30 hours on it. What do you expect? Still happy with it. It's gonna... It's gonna do us wonders, and honestly, it, it might be the combine for the rest of the series. It's... Really, the, the bigger now you go is tank size. You know, you get 4,000 extra liters, but... Maybe a better... A bigger header. But even then, you know, this looks pretty big. It's 28... Oh, oh, where am I going? It's 28 feet. Pretty good size. I mean, this might not even fit in... Fit in the barn. So... Yeah, as soon as we get back, I'll probably put the plow... And just open that field a little bit on the side. Although we have to lime it then. You have to lime it after you plow new fields, but this is a little bit, and then we'll get that planted, and probably hopefully the back field fertilized today. I have a lot of things, but a lot of small things. Just kind of hoping to, that back field would be ready to harvest. So I'm I'm itching to get get more animals on here. Or, or get animals. Our only animals are, are the deer that wander around. Really don't have not much space at this point either. Soon though, soon, soon. I'll have to take a, a gander around at some point at like what lane we're looking at. Like this one's not bad. Right down here at 36. It's flat there. But then there's that big hound of trees. Uh, 25 probably wouldn't be too bad. 27 probably looks the best. We could do that. Oh, oh. Then, uh, which one's above us? I don't remember. That one, it wouldn't be so bad. Because actually, there's like a flat part in the, like, ravine area. And then up top that, there's another, like, flat part. But it probably wouldn't be too bad for it, other, other than the fact that we can't get a road there. We'd have to buy the other land to get there. Unless we can find out who owns that land over there and say, hey, can we use your land to get to our land? They might be down for it, but you never know. I left this running. Dang. This over here. Yeah, by by the end of the, by the end of the video, I'll go and buy the different front um, front loader. It's the one that's like right bigger than it, bigger than this one. Remember, right? Where is it? I think it's the Q four. Is it the Q four? I think it was. Q5. Technically, it should be the biggest, but I think it was like one blow or something like that. I'll check before I buy it. So really, all we're doing, we're going to do basically one path, one pass down the side. So, I mean, right now we're 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 not using this ground, so oh. why? It's a matter to make the field a little bit bigger. It's not much, but basically another uh, old combine pass. And I mean, we weren't using it before. It really was just grass that was just sitting there. Chickens, I bl I'm thinking they're going to go over there in that open spot. Oh, I missed the spot. 
part of the reason why I didn't put the maple trees there was because of that, actually. And the maple trees kind of kind of work and do what they need by themselves. Well, you just gotta fill the twenty thousand liters of water, and you'll be fine for quite a long time, actually. There we go. That one. And this one. There we go. Not much. That should... Oh, dang it. I should have sold it later. Maple syrup went up higher. Yeah, that will be limed. Have to be limed. And as soon as that wheat field is harvested, I will be turning on weeds as well. Just to make it a little bit harder. So, you know, for a while I had it off so we could, you know, make money and progress the series. It's, I mean, it's kind of important when you're doing videos for it. Obviously, you're just doing it yourself. You can do what you, is hardest. Well, this, we'll probably need... I probably should change this. Let's see, what shall we put in here? Oh, yeah, I was probably going to put... I was thinking about wheat just as a, a constant wheat for chickens. Was my thought, originally. I think we're going to probably put some oats. Something different. We're not just putting the, the same thing in here all the time. Just put the bag right next to it, and I'll just refill it inside. So that's oats, right? Yep. Oh, wait. I was going to lime it. <laughs> what am I talking about? I can't do this yet. I'll probably... Yeah, I'll just lime it quick. Off camera. I've shown liming twice now. It's kind of just a, a mundane little thing. And this is going to be very similar to that. Mundane. Probably not take that long. All right, there we go. It's limed. Other than the, the hair spot here. I missed some. I was trying to do it the short way. That way we weren't wasting a bunch yeah. now we can plant the oats now we can get that done I want to try to rotate put different crops in and we're not just always harvesting the same thing realistically we should have enough wheat from that big field for a little while. So I may not sell that much of it. I'll probably, honestly, maybe I'll just store all of it. And we don't gotta worry about it for a while. And maybe next scrap in here might be wheat or barley for the chickens. And I keep it like that for a little while. Pretty sure this is just lower, right? Yep. Cruising, <laughs> yeah, liking liking the case so far. Case Maxim. And we have the ability to upgrade it in the future to 175 horse, I believe it is. It'll be a, a, a good jump. It'll allow us to pull different equipment. Maybe maybe even uh, pull two of these uh, cedars, which would kind of be nice, really. So it wouldn't take nearly as long, and this really doesn't take that long now. Whoops. Put the on and not the lower button. You know, I don't know if I've ever actually did oats and farming sim. I'm not sure when they added them. So I, the last time I really played a lot of farming sim was probably farming sim 17. So it's been a little while. We'll do the quick pass by the rocks this way. Or not. 
I'm worried about that side of things. Well, I'll just uh, time lapse a lot of this. Should be probably honestly probably the only time lapse of the video. Spraying won't take that long, so. I'll catch you guys on the other end of that. Welcome back, everyone. So we just got this last strip right here. Should be, yeah, should be covered. Yeah, on the uh, topic of what land, if anybody who's played No Man's Land has a, a suggestion of where, you know, they did it or seen it or whatever, be sure to leave that in comments. I'd Love to hear suggestions on that. I'm just gonna leave this out. I am not good at backing up. The back feels should be sprayed. That one's a little bit early for it. Well, of course, I put this in the way. Of course. We only got two bags of seed left, looks like. Oh, three. Oh, two and a half. What's this doing on? No, oh, that's doing pretty good on fertilizer. Oh, oh. We don't actually have to do the whole field every time. It's only this part here. Always everything's basically max fertilized. On this little bit. Right, right by me. I didn't cut that, but okay. And here comes the fun part. I'm not great at knowing where I've been on spraying. So I'm probably going to go up here. So far as I know, this should work, right? As far as I know. Yeah, I'm seeing some, some land turn, turn a different color. I'm always surprised how little liquid fertilizer you use on this. you think it'd be a lot. Like, it's coming out of a lot of nozzles. Brings it all the way over here. Not too far, though. Got one strip in, so... You go a little bit above this. So, well... Probably end up doing basically the whole field in the end. And basically the whole bottom portion. It's not too much. Yeah, I'm also thinking, just because we got the money, we may... That should be far enough. Yep. We may get sheep. Coming up too. If we gotten money for both pens. Because once this is ready, we could start turning it into uh, hay. It's clear they use hay, or is it grass? I'm actually not sure what sheep use. Alright, we're good there. So now it's just looks like what rock? Just above the rock area. Pull along where we just sprayed. The well the first Round through, we sprayed. So we can we can take a look actually. What kind of pens it cost? Sheep. Looks like grass hay. We could get oh actually, sheep pens are actually pretty expensive. Unless we get this one, eighteen. It's a lot more than none. Yeah, uh, that might be the one. So you gotta go 65 grand for bigger. Or maybe we just go to and get bee some bees. 
Just do that too. So what I was looking at for chickens was this one for nine grand. We can put a lot of chickens in there for nine grand. Yeah, might end up waiting a little bit on sheep. I'll look a little bit on Mod Hub too for pens for sheep. So I know I have quite a few modded ones for chickens because that was kind of the plan. So I'll say I was I'll take a little look for that. There we good. Keep going. I was trying to keep to keep a look and get the best pen we could. More likely after those we'd probably look at cows, which I'll probably be doing on the Edgewater series. Coming up. At least that is the plan. So I've uh yeah, I've been doing research on that stuff. You can make the tool mix ration differently on that map. Gonna be uh, kinda nice. Yeah, uh, somewhat good introduction to cows for me. Let's see, where's the other one? A little bit farther. I'm going to spray this down here. What the heck did I do there? What the heck? I don't... Yeah, in this path, I have did it multiple times now. I took the grass out. I think it's because of the maple trees. I'm not sure why I missed two spots there. Unless we had, like, aliens come. I don't know. The map is made by Alien Jim, so... Maybe that's a possibility. <laughs> Get this over here. We'll just bring the front loader down to end this video. Well, once I go and check to make sure I got the right one. I tested it like... Was it last night? It might have been last night. And yeah, it was something last night. <laughs> oh, boy. Why am I so bad at this? We're just going to drop that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> I'll quickly go and figure out which one it was. Alright, I'm back. So I figured out which one it was. It is... Q6M? Yeah, this one. We will... See, we got the case IH. Yeah. This is the other one. Yeah, I'll take with the black. Looks good. We could see what the other way looks like with the red. No. Nope. This looks good though. Pay fifty dollars on paint to get what look what look the best. It's worth it. So this one should go all the way down. You can see right now, and this one does not. Should go all the way down, which will be a little bit easier picking up some of those pallets that we have hanging around. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, my audio sounds good. Uh, I was messing around with it more. I did a bunch of testing. Because, um, well, a couple of episodes ago, by episode 8 in Survival Challenge, I brought up that I would thought I had fixed it. There was a slight hiss in it. I didn't. So then I put it so it was the filters were in line different and that caused the compressor which kind of makes it the highs sound a little bit in mid-range I guess where it should be and the lows a little bit higher. And uh, yeah that didn't sound very good at all. Thankfully I could just add a compressor in editing made it sound basically just as it would normally sound but, yeah Hopefully, uh, it is sounding good 
I thought it sounded good in my opinion. Okay, we got a switch. It's it's not Q. It's G. G to switch it. Put the forks over here. Look at that. Looks nice. Left the doors open anyways. Good thing I came back. Well, I mean, it looks like to me like the doors might be open for a while longer after I hit it. Get this sold. 48 on repairs wouldn't surprise me for how much I probably hit the thing and stuff. What, cost us four grand on the upgrade? Well, this should. Yep, that's what I was looking for. So I go just a hair up, but not too much. The it looks like it fits pretty good. Where the brackets are at, as far as I can tell. So, as far as I can tell, it is the one that's supposed to be on here. Well, I should be both everything for today I'll bring this back off camera thank you everyone for uh, watching hopefully you enjoyed I'll see you in the next video whatever that would be bye